thank you for joining us on this episode of the Semper Gumby channel. Today we're going to be talking about power stations or how to charge your power stations. Um, well, we all know there are several ways to charge a power station. One, uh, if you're around grid power, uh, you know, you can use the uh, 110 to charge it up. Two, uh, gas generators. Three, you can use a 12 volt system in your car with a cigarette lighter and we know that takes forever to charge and then lastly uh, solar power panels and you know and that's you know based on the weather conditions you know the environment um, if it's a cloudy day it could take forever to charge up your power stations but what if I told you there was also an alternative way uh, to charge your power station while you're dispersed camping. This right here is Blue Eddy's new DC to DC charger. This is the Charger One and uh, it was just released about two weeks ago and this is an alternative way to charge up your power stations while on the go. Uh, this thing hooks up to your battery, uh, your 12 volt system in your vehicle uh, thus allowing you to charge up your power stations uh, using power cords hooked up to this to your power station. And I want to thank Blue Eddy. Uh, they are a sponsor of today's video. And we are going to hook this up to the truck and then we're going to do some testing and I'll show you how this, how this uh, little DC to DC charger works. This power station behind me is the Blue Eddy AC180T. It is the solar swap uh, dual battery uh, power station. And mainly this one will be used for the Blue Eddy uh, fridge. And if you saw the fridge uh, that came out about uh, three or so months ago, it uses external batteries where you can plug in or put into the fridge and you don't need any additional power. Well, this power station has two batteries that go into the fridge. This power station allows you to put one of these batteries into the fridge, or you can run this power station with one or two batteries. So this setup here will be used primarily for my uh, fridge slash freezer. And uh, you know, if you know that Blue Eddy's fridge, uh, when they came out, it has an ice maker, freezer, and a regular fridge. And using the DC the DC charger, it will allow me to keep my uh, 180T topped off or charged uh, when my batteries get low. And I can also use this with my solar power panels. Now, basically, you would have to get, uh, if you have a different power station, like a 240 or 200L, uh, the adapter cords do not come with the Blue Eddy DC to DC charger. Now, depending on your power station, uh, the inputs for each power stations are different. Now the 180T does use the Anderson connector with the MC4s. Um, they connect right into the DC input, the PV DC input, and then on the opposite end you do have your MC4s. Now when you purchase your DC uh, to DC charger, they will supply you with this adapter. Uh, this will go into your, in, your inputs and then the other end will just connect right into your MC4 uh, connectors just like that. And then it'll charge into your system uh, charging your power station. So it's really simple. Um, and that way it would allow me to top off my batteries while driving my vehicle. Now, this is the uh, wiring system. It's pretty simple. You have two, uh, two wires. You have your positive and negative. 
and they also supply you with a uh, a 60 amp uh, switch right there and then the two wires connect straight into uh, your charger so before we mount this in the vehicle I am actually going to hook up the MC4 uh, connectors to the output so if you open this flap right here you will see that there are two uh, Allen heads uh, in here and that will actually tighten down into the uh, output screws here so what I'll do is you have a negative and a positive so we'll go ahead and set those in here so we'll go ahead and loosen that up now we'll insert our negative in here and then we'll tighten that down okay and then we'll put our positive in there so hooking up your system is so easy uh, all you have to do is run your cables and using the wire kit which is sold separately um, run it to your uh, positive and negative of your battery then basically come through your firewall underneath the uh, um, dash and I ran it along the side and then it just runs underneath my mat and then comes up up to the box and what I did is I did mount the box uh, to the back of the um, uh, back of the f wall on the truck now I deleted my seat um, because I don't use the seat on this side and then I did build the platform for my cooler so the cooler is going to sit right here my blue eddy cooler and uh, you won't see the wires but I mounted the 60 amp fuse here and I, I shut it off when I'm not using the system and then it comes up to the Blue Eddy DC charger and then um, I just mounted it to the back so really simple design my Blue Eddy fridge um, it's got the uh, fridge on one side and the freezer on the other side and this is where the battery uh, goes and right now it's powered up uh, it's got a full battery so and it's not plugged in as you can see in fact, I'll unplug it so you guys can. So, it's just running off the battery. And I am making ice right now. So as you can see, we'll have ice in about 15 minutes. And this is the Blue Eddy uh, uh, Solar Swap. Uh, fridge and like I said it takes the batteries from that power station uh, to power it up so you can uh, use the batteries uh, they last uh, for a while I would say a good 12 13 hours I guess per battery um, I use it at the, at the Moore Expo and it ran for a day and a half um, but it all depends on uh, the settings you got and uh, if you're making ice it probably lasts a little bit shorter than that so um, we'll get the batteries down and we'll go ahead and power up uh, the power station here in just a second all right so i went ahead and put the uh, other battery in it's about 90 percent so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and start the vehicle and we're going to go ahead and see how much uh, wattage this DC charger to charger is uh, putting out to charge these uh, power station. Now they say it's about 500 and somewhat watts and uh, it takes about 30 seconds for uh, the charger to, to, to power up. So let's go ahead and do that right now. 
Okay, so I'll go ahead and turn on the, uh, the power switch. And then you will see there is a green light blinking right up there. Um, so we'll see that. And it went from blinking to steady. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what kind of power it's pulling in. Right there. There we go, folks. Right now it's at 200. Okay. So basically, on the Bluetooth, you go ahead and hit charger. And when you hit your charging voltage, you have your models of your power station. So I went and hit the 180T and it updated it. Now I'm charging 511 watts coming in to my power station. Now right now it's showing 496, so close to 500 watts. And that is just amazing. And uh, we got 56, 56 volts, and let me see, 13.4 volts at 55 uh, coming in. So we're charging. We can also do silent charging as well. So um, on the Bluetooth app, um, I've got all my devices, all my Blue Eddy devices on here. So let me see. So you can, like I said, download the Blue Eddy app. Um, I downloaded the charger. And like I said, right now we're pulling about 511, 500 amp. So if you go to the charging voltage, uh, you can see what model um, power station you have. So, um, and it, for Blue Eddy, it'll automatically uh, detect that power station. So just a few minutes ago, we started charging the AC-180T. It was at 90%. We are at 95% right now. So this little DC to DC charger, um, it's pretty awesome. I'm pretty impressed. And don't worry if you forget to turn off your switch because they have a built-in feature that this DC to DC charger will shut itself off after 30 minutes uh, so you don't run your battery dry on your vehicle. So if you're looking to get the DC to DC charger one from Blue Eddy, go to blueeddypower.com and check it out. Right now I believe they're on sale for $199.99, so $200. But I recommend getting the kit, which includes the wiring harness, all the connections, the, uh, the fittings, the whole thing, which will make it a lot easier to wiring up. I mean, it's just bolted to your battery, screw it on, run the cables, and then uh, connect it to the charger. Um, that kit with the charger is $329. So, um, but it made it so much simple and simpler, I should say, to hook it up into the back of the truck. But uh, I think I'm going to enjoy uh, using it. But uh, also I want to thank Blue Eddy for sending us the DC Charger to Charger 1 uh, for testing and um, for using it to power up our Blue Eddy power stations. Uh, if you do uh, have any questions, go ahead and pop them in the comment box below. And uh, I'll put the links and everything to the charger and to the power stations and the fridge uh, in, the, uh, in the description. If you made it this far in the video, I want to thank you. If you're a first time subscriber, go ahead and hit the, that subscribe button right up there and hit the like and a bell notification and then hit all notifications that way you're notified of all the new videos that I put out. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for uh, uh, subscribing to us and I appreciate the support. Um, but until the next video, um, we'll catch you then. This is Semper Gumby out.